In this video, we'll discuss autoimmune hypothyroidism, which is a form of chronic thyroiditis. How common is autoimmune hypothyroidism? 20 to 40 percent of euthyroid autopsies show evidence of autoimmunity, particularly presence of thyroid peroxidase antibodies. The antibodies are four times more common in women, and most common cause is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So, what are the types of autoimmune hypothyroidism? It may be goitrous or non-goitrous. Goitrous autoimmune hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's thyroiditis and non-goitrous is atrophic thyroiditis. Actually, atrophic thyroiditis is an advanced form of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Autoimmune process gradually reduces the thyroid function. How about the thyroid hormone levels in autoimmune thyroiditis? Initially, the thyroid hormone levels is maintained at a normal level by a rise in TSH, but later unbound T4 falls and TSH level rises. Annual incidence rate for male to female is 1 is to 4 per thousand and mean age is 60 years and is more common in Japanese because of high iodine intake. What are the features of Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the most common cause of goiter in United States whereas worldwide is due to iodine deficiency. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis the gland is asymmetric form and irregular and may be confused with multinodular goiter or thyroid carcinoma which may also have autoantibodies and what is the gross pathology gland is firm pale gray with intact capsule and histopathologically in Hashimoto's thyroiditis there is marked lymphocytic infiltration with some fibrosis and absent thyroid follicles. Whereas in atrophic thyroiditis there is marked fibrosis, less lymphocytic infiltration and almost completely absent thyroid follicles. There is atrophy of the thyroid follicle with oxyphil metaplasia, absence of colloid and some fibrosis in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The follicles are small and atrophic and lined in sheets. Most are lined by Hertel cell. And what's a Hertel cell? Is a eosinophilic epithelial cell which have enlarged hyperchromatic nuclei. Lymphoid follicles are present and they have germinal centers in them. Chronic autoimmune thyroiditis have cell and antibody mediated destruction of the thyroid. So what type of cells are present? Both humoral and cellular factors contribute for thyroid destruction. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis there is marked lymphocytic infiltration with CD4 and CD8 type of T cells and B cells. So both T cells and B cells are present. Thyroid cell damage is primarily by CD8 cytotoxic T cells which induce cell necrosis and B cell cause apoptosis. In addition, locally T cell produce cytokine like tumor necrosis factors, interleukin 1 and interferon gamma render cells susceptible to apoptosis. The antibodies, the clinically useful markers of thyroid immunity are thyroid peroxidase antibody, thyroglobulin antibody and TSH receptor blocking antibodies. Thyroid peroxidase antibodies are present in more than 90% of the patient with autoimmune hypothyroidism. Thyroglobulin antibodies are present in 60% and TSH receptor antibodies are present in 20% of patients and these TSH receptor blocking antibodies cause hypothyroidism and thyroid atrophy. TBI are present in 10 to 20% of cases. What are the genetic risk factors for autoimmune thyroid disorder? Risk of autoimmune thyroid disorders of both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism increase in siblings. And what's the best genetic marker of autoimmune hypothyroidism? Best genetic factor for autoimmune hypothyroidism is HLA-DR polymorphism, especially HLA-DR3, 4, and 5. There is a relationship between autoimmune hypothyroidism and type 1 diabetes, Addison disease, pernicious anemia, and vitiligo. There is high frequency of autoimmune hypothyroidism in Turner syndrome. And why is due to? is due to X chromosome related genetic factors which infection causes autoimmune hypothyroidism it's related to congenital rubella syndrome and female preponderance is most likely due to sex steroid effect on immune responses laboratory evaluation of autoimmune hypothyroidism normal TSH level excludes primary hypothyroidism but not secondary so if TSH is raised major unbound or free T4 level measurement of unbound decreased T4 confirms 
diagnosis of hypothyroidism but T4 may be normal in subclinical hypothyroidism. Why T3 is not done in hypothyroidism? Because unbound T3 is normal in 25% of patients therefore it's not done. And why it's normal? Because of increased conversion of T4 to T3. How autoimmune thyroiditis diagnosis is confirmed? FNA biopsy confirms autoimmune thyroiditis diagnosis. And what are the other findings? Increased CPK, increased cholesterol, anemia, normocytic and normochromic. Increased iodine consumption make a person susceptible to autoimmune thyroiditis leading to goiter and hypothyroidism. And high iodine induced autoimmune hypothyroidism is due to its direct direct toxicity. So both iodine deficiency in excess can cause goiter and hypothyroidism.